Hi everyone, uh, just sitting here watching the uh, UFC fights tonight and um, this is something that's been on my mind for a while and uh, sitting here alone tonight watching the fights I thought I'd make a video on it and that is uh, um, not only addressing Spencer Fisher but some of the other guys out there are doing some of the similar things you know Spencer Fisher was um, is one of my favorite fighters. I love his action. I love his attitude. I like everything about it. Um, but you know, one of the things about Spencer is uh, I, I've considered him a brother in Christ because he always gives glory to God and he comes in with the cross on his shorts. But tonight I got to give him a little bit of a rebuke um, because. He's turned in the cross on his shorts for an advertisement for condomdepot.com. And that's something I see a lot of uh, fighters that are professing Christians seem to be selling out to some garbage in the sake of, uh, for the sake of money. Uh, like in this case, or they're just, uh, their actions and words don't indicate that they belong to Christ even though they proclaim that they are Christians. We are called to be different. Um, the world should see us different. Um, our language, our attitude, and our actions should look different than the rest of the world. And this is just a call out to everybody like Spencer Fisher or anybody that has a stage to glorify God. Uh, much like Josh Hamilton did in the Home Run Derby. He had an opportunity and a forum to glorify God, and he did it. You guys have a venue, a stage, to glorify our King, if you do in fact belong to Him and glorify Him. And wearing garbage on your shorts, like condomdepot.com, and any other garbage that is all about this world, um isn't glorifying your king and uh, that's all I'm going to say I don't want to be you know judgmental I just want to come alongside of you as your brother in Christ and tell you that you need to be held to a higher standard as a as a born again Christian and um, that's it that's all I got and I wish you luck and I hope you come back um, that was a tough loss there but um, I, mean, uh, I hope you come back and uh, I hope you consider what I said.